Ooh, oh, oh, Jesus. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another ride with me video. As you can see, I'm riding Mr. Fish, AKA Fisher. For those who are truly OGs, you would recognize Fisher as being in my very first video ever. Um, I think I have one more video with him as well, but he was definitely the first lesson horse to ever be featured on my channel. So he's pretty special. Back when I posted that video, I was still just starting to learn to canter on the lunge line and it's just so crazy how much time flies and how much I've progressed in that short little while. It's actually been quite a few months since I've had the chance to ride Little Fishy, so I'm excited to spend some time with him. And during our grooming session, you can see he's very, very sleepy. Big yawn and sleepy eyes. Since it has been quite a few months since I've ridden Fisher, I'm definitely not expecting too much from this ride. I know it's not going to be perfect. Every time I ride someone who I haven't ridden in quite a few months, there is a little bit of an adjustment period um, just to get used to the way they move. And I know Fisher has a really, really choppy trot. So going into that canter transition can be a little bit rough. Um, so I'm definitely going to be holding onto the saddle today for that transition but overall his canter is pretty smooth so once we get going um, I should be able to let go so I definitely picked the saddle pad to match my outfit but it's just a happy coincidence that the half pad also matches my outfit and it is color coordinated so perfectly like I, I just couldn't believe it it was meant to be I was meant to ride Fisher today. <laughs> I think you pressed a button in his brain. <laughs> so Fisher is one of those horses that definitely does not enjoy when it's time to put on the girth, but he did such a good job today. And now it's time to get Fisher's bridle on. Make my life easy. Look at that. I could do that. Oh, you're a good boy. Good boy. Oh, that was good. You are such a gentleman. Yeah, let me fix this for you. Handsome. I don't like this though. Okay, 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 yes. <laughs> I think you permanently broke Fisher. <laughs> He's being so weird. <laughs> So that was actually so easy. I swear, usually I have to stick my whole hand in Fisher's mouth just to get him to open to put the bridle in. But that was super quick, probably the easiest I've ever bridled Fisher. Um, so now we're all ready and we're going to head down to the outdoor arena and start our lesson. So today was actually a really windy day, so I apologize in advance for all the wind noise. Um, it's nice for us because we get a nice cool breeze as we're riding. Um, not so good for you guys, I imagine, because there's all this obnoxious noise in the camera, but you know what? Can't control everything. Hey. 
so I'm just doing my prep steps as usual, tightening the girth, checking the stirrup leathers before I hop on and start warming up. Okay, buddy, let's go. Oh, Fishy, you're tall. Oh, good boy. I haven't been this high in a while. Huh? I haven't been this high in a while. Really? Yeah. You were tall a month ago. Honestly, I think that was like a month ago by now. So Fisher is probably the tallest horse that I've ridden in a long time and let me tell you when you ride shorter horses or ponies for a little while and then you hop onto a tall horse it's kind of like a little bit of a shock. It's definitely different to be so high up and I forgot how long Fisher's neck is. He's got like a really, really long neck. Um, but one of my favorite parts about sitting on Fisher is his luxurious double-sided mane. Like how gorgeous is that? Starting off with a trot. Fishy was feeling a little bit spicy today, kind of throwing his head down on me. Another thing I love about riding Fisher is that you don't need to carry a crop with him. Although it is really good practice to hold a crop in your hand as you ride, because um, some horses you definitely need it. It's nice to not have to worry about that every now and then. I was. Didn't even realize I switched either. <laughs> I think he wants to poop, but. He's thinking about it. It requires a lot of thought. It does. He has to pick the perfect spot. Come on. Don't stop next to the bossy pony. This is the place. He just wanted to piss Maple off. <laughs> now that he's let go of some of that extra weight. Okay, so first exercise that we're working on today, we are going over some trot pulls. So approaching the trot pulls, we are holding half seat to point over the poles and then sit trot after the trot pulls. I find this quite difficult, especially on a horse that's really bumpy like Fisher. Um, I find that they tend to really speed up going over the poles. So trying to, for one, actually sit down in the trot is difficult and two, to not not get him to stop because I do want him to slow down so it's easier for me to sit but I don't want him to stop. So our first round over, he did break to walk when I went into the sitting trot, but um, every round after that, he maintained the trot. We didn't break to a walk. Um, my seat definitely <laughs> wasn't very good, but sit trot regardless on Fisher is just not very good. Um, I was doing the absolute best that I can, but he is a very bumpy little boy. Okay, so now we're going to change direction and we're going to do this by crossing the diagonal. This whole time he's drifting over to the right, you want to make sure his nose is in front of his shoulders, in front of his hips, okay? Okay. 
So that's one thing about riding Fisher as well, which I had kind of forgotten about because I haven't ridden him in so long, is he tends to be a very crooked trotter. So that just means I have to make sure I'm using leg to ensure that his body is in line where I'm pointing his nose to be. Okay, so this way I like a lot better. I find this is gonna be a lot easier to sit trot approaching because um, he's not going as fast as he would if he was just going over the poles. And I'm just making sure that I give him a little bit extra leg right before we go over just so he doesn't trip um, because we are trotting a little bit slower in the sitting trot so it's more comfortable for me and more comfortable for him. And then holding half seat after two point is like really, really easy. Um, so I think we had a lot more success in our sitting trot going this way versus the other way. So there I made a bad judgment as we were approaching the poles and I saw that Maple was kind of stopped over them. I definitely should have just turned off and skipped the poles and then gone around a second way. Um, luckily Maple didn't really mind us coming up behind her bum, but other horses might. Okay, so now that we are done with that exercise, we are going to do a lap of posting no stirrups. And then once we complete a lap of posting no stirrups, then we're going to do a lap of sitting no stirrup work. And I'm absolutely terrified because Fisher is so bumpy. So I was having a little bit of a rough go. Um, I definitely felt a little bit scared um, doing sitting trot no stirrup. And I included a clip here just to show you like how bouncy like I am barely sitting that sitting trot. Um, but we completed our lap posting no stirrups and our sitting no stirrups. Thank goodness I was scared for my life that whole time. <laughs> He's so bouncy. And now we are taking a well-deserved walk break. Can I grab a sip of water real quick? No. No. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a quick little water break because it is quite hot out today. Although the breeze is nice, the sun is still quite warm. Quick water break for me, quick little snack grass break for mm -hmm. Fishy, and then we're going to get ready to canter. <laughs> like what happened? <laughs> oh, wow. It's been a while since I've been forced to go first. Really? Yeah. Monday I used to be like bullied into doing it every yeah. time. Okay. Bullied by eight year olds. Yeah. <laughs> They've been pretty generous lately. Okay, let's go.
Steph, okay. That transition. Okay. It squeezes, okay. And that wasn't happening. No, I think when I focus really hard on keeping my stirrups, I'm like very like this. Yeah. So there's not a lot of that happening. Yeah. When you're cantering, you just sit right up here, like, yep, yeah, right up there. And then your leg goes like this every time he takes a step. There's like a little. Okay. Geez, like, okay, <laughs> okay, so that first round of cantering there, um, it was not good, <laughs> but I'm not going to let it get me down. I haven't ridden Fisher in a while and his transition is pretty rough. So um, all I can really do is take my trainer's advice, um, try and bend my knee more. I know for a fact I definitely was not having enough leg on him and that is definitely why we kept breaking in the exact same spots. So this time around, I really just want to try and put more leg on him. Um, you know, I, I get really stiff when I try to keep my stirrups and you know, I was losing my my stirrup today anyways but um, I'm gonna try and be a little bit more loose and see if that helps Okay, so I'm actually really, really proud of that considering how our first round went. Um, we maintained the canter the entire way through. My seat was definitely not the best, um, but I had other more important things on my mind for this round. Um, I'm just happy that we were able to overcome um, the struggles and the challenges that we had in the first round of canter. And yeah, really it's just a matter of adding leg. I've got to stop being so worried about losing my stirrups. I'm still new to cantering so I'm obviously still going to lose them sometimes and that's okay if I focus on it too too much then I lose my seat and I lose my leg and that's also not good so I would rather be focusing on my seat and adding leg and you know still losing them occasionally and eventually that won't be a struggle anymore um, but now just to finish off our lesson we're going to go for a nice little walk down the driveway
Daisy's like, this She's is like, this is as far as I go. Okay, I can go, I guess. No, Daisy, you still got half a driveway, girl. Girl's a homebody. <laughs> okay, come on, fishy. So our lesson is all done today. I would say overall pretty good lesson even though I did struggle quite a bit with my canter during the first round. I'm pretty happy with the note that we finished on and of course um, the next time I canter that's what I'm going to focus on more. I guess we gotta sponge you down buddy, you're pretty sweaty. Isn't it lovely? Mm. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Yeah. Um, so now that our lesson is done, it is time to do our post-lesson duties. Fisher is all done for the day, so he doesn't have any more lessons today. So I'm going to give him a little sponge down in his sweaty areas, give him his lunch, and then he can go back outside in the field. Before I put his bridle away, I definitely want to make sure that I clean off the bit, especially if he's had anything to eat while he was wearing it. I definitely don't want to put it away while it's all gunky. Um, and after I clean it off with some water and then wipe it down, I'm just going to put it away neatly back on Fisher's hook. And then I'm going to go and take off his saddle and put his saddle away, of course. He has so many furs. <gasps> Yeah. His whole forelock has to go. <laughs> So now that my tack is all put away neatly, I'm going to sponge down Fisher and cool him off. I want to make sure I cool him off before I feed him because he is going to heat up a little bit when he eats. Oh, I just drowned a bug. Sorry. No, it was a fly. Whatever, they all suck. To come to your face. Okay. That's a little tight. I'm sorry, but you're only gonna be in it for a very short period of time. Okay, come on. Good boy. Oh, are you done? Oh yeah, I'll go in the cross ties then. Thank you. Oh, sorry buddy. Look at you yield those hindquarters.
want to get you a bigger halter because this one just looks so uncomfortable. Oh, I thought it looked big. My bad, dude. Okay, one second. Also two smiles. No, this one's better. Oh, that's a lot better. So you can see that Fisher is only really sweaty in his saddle and girth area, so that's really where I'm gonna focus on, because um, there is a little bit of a cool breeze today. Um, if it was hot, hot, I would have just hosed down his entire body, but I don't want to leave him feeling a little chilly either. Oh, this one keeps breaking. Fishy, did you do this? He says it wasn't me. Oh, this one really is broken. Um, okay, I guess that can stay there. I think you're a good boy, so you should be fine, right? Please be good. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Okay. Did you break it off? The other one? No, I think it's just broken. I think that's why it fell off of Daisy. Of course, after I sponge him down, I'm going to squeegee him to get rid of the excess water so he dries faster. Boy. Good boy. Want to get something to eat? So now I'm just putting Fisher back in any empty stall, really, and then I'm going to give him his lunch. Thanks so much for watching and spending the day with me at the barn. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!